And hello folks, welcome along to uh, yet another one of our Helium Down Under uh, YouTube clips. Uh, these videos are aimed at trying to uh, spread the word uh, about Helium, uh, or more importantly to answer uh, many of the questions that are on everybody's lips uh, here in Australia. And uh, in fact, across the Pacific Rim uh, in New Zealand and other countries uh, throughout the region. Uh, now, I uh, have been very active on the Facebook groups recently. And guys, what I'm starting to see is a trend of sort of like the, the top 10 questions. Uh, so I thought I'm going to start actually uh, putting together a series of our top 10. Each one of these uh, little videos I expect is only going to be about 10 minutes, but let's see if I can keep to 10 minutes. <laughs> so our, uh, our first question that uh, quite frequently is coming up in our groups is, why are there no Helium hotspots showing on the Helium Explorer app? Uh, now, you've probably all been surfing around uh, you've seen the explosive growth across the US, uh, Europe, and more recently in China. Uh, you've ordered your hotspot or you've been thinking about ordering your hotspot. But the, the, the question that I keep getting asked lately is, well, number one, are there any other people building in my city? Is there anybody building in my state? Uh, am I the first one here? Have I got the, the best real estate or am I all on my own and this is just not going to be financially viable? So let's uh, let's have a look at um, let's have a look at uh, some of the information. So what we currently have in Australia right now is a grand total of six helium hotspots. And also just to spread the, the facts, as I know them, is that these six units that we currently have in New South Wales are all belonging to the One Planet education system. And if you go and have a look at the Helium page and you go down and look at the users, you will actually see the One Planet education system. Uh, they are using the Internet of Things. Uh, what you're looking at here is uh, is the article that basically talks about back in uh, I think it was uh, December 2020 or it may have been probably it could have been possibly a little bit earlier than that but that uh, one planet education system was extending its network into Australia and uh, this particular organization is largely based around uh, perhaps less, developed countries or um, underprivileged groups within society. And it's aimed uh, largely about farming and agriculture and also uh, technology. So as you'll see in the article there, it is actually centered around Sydney and around Walgett. And of course, if you have a look uh, in the, uh, if you have a look through the uh, various um, data available through the blockchain, you'll find that in fact, there are the six units that are in Australia right now. Uh, their focus is not about mining HNT, whilst perhaps they're doing that. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like the hotspots are actually generating HNT, but I'm not entirely certain if they're keyed into the whole uh, HNT earning structure. But what I can tell you from what I'm gathering anyway, from what I'm seeing, is that their purpose is not to mine HNT. It's uh, it's to serve that educational basis. So uh, if there are six hotspots in the country and you're looking and maybe you've ordered your hotspots or you're looking at ordering your hotspots and thinking, well, <laughs> holy heck, that means I've got a grand total of zero to work with. And guys, that's exactly what we have. We currently have zero hotspots in Australia right now. Uh, so if you have ordered your hotspots from one of two suppliers, the two suppliers that you will have ordered through is Nebra or Rack, uh, the Rack unit through Kelchip. Uh, and uh, I, I really probably having a bit of a guess here, the Australian network, uh, the Internet of Things, the People's Network, I think is pretty much going to be a 50-50 split for the first few months. 
uh, until potentially other suppliers start entering the marketplace here. But maybe you're probably asking yourself, and I know I've asked myself, well, what is our network going to look like in December of 2021? So right now when I'm recording this, it's May. So we're just a little short of halfway through the year. And you know, what's it going to look like in another six months? Well, of course, it's anybody's guess how deep is a hole, how long is a piece of string. Um, but what we can look at to look at trends, uh, given that most of us here are probably interested in cryptocurrency and you may be done a little bit of charting and you can follow trends and etc. Well, what I can tell you right now is that the Facebook group, uh, Helium HNT, the early adopters, as best I can work out, is the largest group. There are a couple of smaller social media groups available, but I would imagine that the members that are in the other groups are also in the Helium HNT early adopters. Uh, this group has right now got 2,300 members, and I've recently been put onto the moderator list. Uh, and what I can tell you is that it's growing every day. In fact, it's growing every hour. My phone is continuing continually uh, pinging, telling me that there's another person wanting approval to join the group. So uh, our network is growing, at least the interest in Helium is growing. The other source of information that we could choose to look at is our crowdsource map, which shows planned hotspot locations based on people voluntarily sharing their information uh, to this app. Now, currently, as of today, 13th of May 2021, uh, there is only approximately 750 hotspots on the map. So if you look there and you think, well, 750 on the crowdsource map and we've got 2,300 people in our uh, Facebook group, there's obviously a very, very, very large discrepancy there, uh, which means one of two things is that there are a lot of people still thinking about getting a hotspot and building the people's network here in Australia. Or there are many people who have ordered a hotspot uh, in the interest of uh, mining HNT and building the people's network and just haven't actually placed it onto the uh, the crowdsource map. Now, it is completely voluntary, guys. It's, uh, it is not mandatory in any way, shape or form for you to share your data. And if you choose to be anonymous, that's quite okay. Uh, really, the purpose of tonight's little uh, tutorial or information clip is just to show you the fact that you're definitely not alone. Uh, so let's go and have a look at state by state as we roam around the country. And this is all working on the crowdsource map. This is not talking about the Facebook social media. I don't have access to that data. And in fact, the data that I'm working on here from the crowdsource map is not uh, accurate to the day. It's about a week old, but it's it's just an approximation. So what about Southeast Queensland? Well, in Southeast Queensland, which takes in the Gold Coast, also takes in the Sunshine Coast, stretches out to Toowoomba, and let's say it probably stretches up about as far north as Harvey Bay. So Southeast Queensland is what I'll call that region. We've got approximately 120 hotspots currently showing on our map. And largely those are focused around the, uh, the Brisbane and the Gold Coast region. However, I've got to say there's a huge group growing in Toowoomba right now. And uh, the network up there is looking very strong. Uh, in Brisbane, the mix is pretty is pretty well spread. There's a large cluster out in the western suburbs, uh, on in the city area, as I would expect. There's a large cluster uh, down in the southeastern suburbs, which is where I am down here. There's a really good network that's growing, and of course down the Gold Coast and further up north. Uh, now I have not included uh, Cairns, Townsville, Rockhampton, Mackay, only because obviously our state is too large and it was a bit large to put onto one map. But what I can tell you is that those regional centers are also growing quite well. They've got good networks of anywhere from half a dozen up to a dozen or so units in their town. In fact, Townsville, I think, is probably up getting around 20 units now based on the late, latest figures. Oh yeah, what about Sydney and Newcastle? Well, there's the map. It's a uh, very strong group down there in Sydney, uh, our largest state, so it's, it goes without saying. Uh, they've got approximately 240 sort of spread across that uh, Newcastle and Sydney group, 
And you can see here, I, I'm not entirely familiar with Sydney. I've been there a few times, but I don't know the topography that well. But those that are in Sydney, you can see where it's spread down. And in fact, I'm not even sure of what's down south here. But uh, if, uh, if you know what's down here, you'll know what cities those are. But 240 odd units there doing really well. Uh, what about Canberra, our Australian Capital Territory? Well, the good news is, is that they haven't been forgotten, uh, or rather they, they're not out there uh, in Australian Capital Territory without any people's network. Uh, we've got approximately 35 people that have currently recorded their position on the crowdsource map. Moving our way down to Melbourne, down into southeastern Australia, we've got approximately 120. Uh, the one thing that I am surprised in is that over in Geelong area at this moment, there are there is only one hotspot showing on our map. Doesn't mean that there's not others there, because I say 750 uh, hotspots versus 2,500 in our social media, there's a really big discrepancy. We've got our morning to Peninsula as likewise, doesn't have a great coverage at this point. But I have no doubt that there are people that uh, will be down there. Adelaide, uh, you've got uh, the, the city of churches and you're also a city of approximately 50 hotspots. Uh, ducking over to Perth, all the way over to the west, we've got approximately 100 hotspots uh, spread down. You know, I'm not entirely sure. I've never been to Perth, but uh, spread up and down the Perth. There is nothing further down, so I know that there are some, there's some cities further down the coast of Western Australia. And likewise, scattered up along the western coast and northwestern coast, there are places. But currently, as it stands at the moment, there are no hotspots showing on the crowdsource map. Let's duck up to Darwin, up to the, uh, not the tropical north, it's the really hot and sticky north. <laughs> uh, we've got a team up there with approximately 15 hotspots. I have actually spoken to a couple of people in social media uh, via Facebook, Discord, um, or Facebook Messenger that are actually up in the Darwin area. Uh, the group is going to, the whole area up there is going to be very well covered. There's a couple of people that are positioning their units on uh, higher, higher areas. So uh, I do believe that Darwin is going to be quite well covered. Uh, Tassie, poor old Tassie. Obviously, the people in Tasmania like to keep it a secret because right now I've got approximately 10 units showing uh, on the whole island of Tasmania. So come on, Taswegians, if you're seeing this clip, uh, why not throw your details onto the crowdsource map so that those people down there in Tasmania know that they're not alone. <laughs> um, so we've got a really good solid coverage right across uh, right across the nation in all of our capital cities and our larger uh, larger cities, especially in uh, in Queensland and New South Wales. The other states very much focused around the capital cities. So what we can tell from this, guys, is that you are definitely not alone. If you have already ordered your hotspots, great. Guys, you're going to be building the Internet of Things, the People's Network across Australia. And as you've seen by the data that I've shown here tonight, you are definitely not alone. For those people who are looking to purchase, and you know who you are. I've been chatting with you through Facebook. I've been chatting with you through Discord. Many of you are sort of saying, look, I'm thinking about doing this, but I'm hearing about the halving. I'm hearing about all these masses of units, uh, you know, if 250, 300,000 hotspots uh, landing on, on, the, uh, on the blockchain over the next few months. Uh, and I don't see anybody else in Australia. Is it going to be worth it? Well, this is cryptocurrency, guys. There are no guarantees. And I'm not here to sell you on this. I don't get anything out of this besides the fact that I want to see this network succeed. I want Australia to have a great uh, people's network to leverage off. I see the Internet of Things as a, uh, as a huge industry that we can leverage off uh, long term. Uh, we can do a lot of good for a lot of organizations by providing uh, the coverage that they currently don't have. We, we are an enormous country and there's a whole lot of area to cover out there and there is no phone coverage. There's you know, very, we know what our internet coverage out there is like via satellites is pretty flaky from what I understand. Uh, so we're a really big continent and I see that the uh, internet of things is something that can bridge the gap in many cases. It's not going to stretch over the whole continent, but well, not easily anyway. 
um, not unless we end up with a lot of uh, solar powered units uh, spread across. But uh, if we focus on building our, our large cities and all of our smaller ones will follow along. So there you have it, guys. Uh, hopefully this has made you feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident that you are not alone. Uh, this was video number one. There will be a bunch of other how-tos and videos coming over the coming days. Uh, the next one that I will be talking to is where can you get your units from? Because that is the second uh, most popular question that comes up. Where do I purchase? Uh, we'll cover that on the next video. So guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're watching it for the first time tonight, if I could ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the like button. I mean, that's going to help promote this channel uh, so that more people are actually able to see it on their searches. And really, that's the only way that this information is, is going to be spread around that and you know, just by placing it in Facebook. So tell your friends about it. Use it as a resource if you choose to. Uh, but I'm here just to try and spread the word and get it out there. All right, guys, I'm Ian. This, I'm Helium Down Under, and I'll see you on the next call.